Well, this is not how I expected our day to start. Give me a few minutes and I'll explain. So. We learned a very valuable lesson today. Mm-hmm. Our Blackwater tank was full. So here we are. <laughs> we had to go across town to the public restrooms mm -hmm. to use the bathrooms because, uh, yeah, we got no bathroom right now. No, but hopefully it'll be resolved at some point today. Hashtag RV life. <laughs> we're learning though, so we've learned a very valuable, very valuable lesson today. So yeah. we're gonna go back now and have the second cup of coffee mm -hmm. and then uh, hopefully go explore town. Yeah. Breakfast is ready. We know you're dying to know. But we got the black water tank resolved. Gwen just came over and, and emptied it out. We got to talk to her for a while. They're super sweet. They were right, right on it, so no big deal. Yeah. But the rest of the day also didn't go according to plan because uh, it's been super freaking windy. So instead, we decided to record a Airbnb tour. We have lunch, got cleaned up, and then after that, we drove into town. Yeah. So we're going to give you a walking tour of Buena Vista and give you some history about it. Anna's recounting our time at the bathroom again, enjoying things, reminiscing about memories from this morning. Right behind us is the Deer Hammer Distillery. They are known for whiskey. They were founded in 2010, which is also the year that Anna and I got married. They produce one 53 gallon barrel of whiskey each and every day that's stored for a minimum of four years. If you go in there, try their single malt whiskey. We haven't tried it yet, but we've heard it is quite delicious. We've also heard that you can get a tour if you ask them nicely. So in 2010, Buena Vista became a fair trade town, the 14th in our nation. What that means is that laborers and producers are assured fair wages for the things that they make. And I love this store. We found the solution to our problem right there. I'm dead Seriously, it's better than bags. It's a shame this place is not open because we'd love to get some hot dogs and I love having hot dogs. We have to come back in the summertime and get some though. Okay. Ooh, there's the roastery. So there's the Buena Vista Roastery and they were established in 1994 and they are an organic fair trade coffee shop. Let's go inside, get a coffee and I'll tell you a bit more about them. Come on. I'm gonna get a Milky Way with, can you do it with almond milk? Sure. And this blueberry peach Danish is calling my name. You got it. So we're inside, we've gotten coffee and snacks, and they roast the coffee to order. It takes longer to roast the coffee because we're at elevation due to the lesser oxygen in the air, and it results in a smoother and more complex flavor, flavor of their coffee. Also, in-house, they recycle all of their plastic, cardboard, and everything else. They have a compost bin back there, which is pretty cool. And lastly, they have a Kiva lending team. So 10% of their earnings go to this program. This is Anna from the future interrupting your video to let you know, please hit that like button. It helps us tremendously for the YT algo. And also, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe. You've made it this far. Back to the video. So this is the Milky Way latte. And I'm trying to do a better job about telling you about the food that I order. So it's a mocha with caramel in it. And they put a little bit of whipped cream and I ordered it with almond milk. That is delicious. That's like dessert in a cup. And then I had a blueberry and cream cheese Danish, which is massive. I couldn't finish it. And because it, they closed at three, which we didn't know, I ate as much as I could. We scurried on out and here we are. We're gonna walk into a couple more shops and tell you a little bit more about Buena Vista. These are pretty nice. Oh, this is beautiful. You find something? I did, I found a couple of things. So I found this hand salve. It's made here in Colorado. It smells incredible. From Colorado Lavender, and this is for Jim and Lauren as a thank you for taking care of our kitty kitties. Then I got two thank you cards that are handmade in Nepal for our Airbnb host because they're so wonderful, and Jim and Lauren. And then I got a little headband for myself. Oh. To hide my gray hairs in a time of need. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Do you want to keep moseying? Yes, yeah, so let's keep on moseying, but I think she looks beautiful without the headband. I don't think the headband's needed. It's brunette problems. <laughs> okay, let's keep on moseying. We're currently sitting outside of the Buena Vista Heritage Museum. 
And we figured that we would tell you just a couple of facts about town because like everything else, you can Google it and we don't want to be like super boring. So Buena Vista was first settled in 1864 and it was incorporated in 1879. Mm -hmm. And there's currently about 3,000 people who live here today. I guess it'd be currently and today. There's currently about 3,000 people and it sits at an altitude of 7,965 feet. Yes, and now we're gonna head to a park and tell you a little bit about what you can do in this area. So surrounding this area is actually 12 14ers, which you can see from the Buena Vista overlook. And if you are here during the summertime, they've got hiking, they've got biking, they've got kayaking. White water rafting. And then in the wintertime, they have skiing at Monarch Mountain. Mm -hmm. You can do dog sledding at yeah. Monarch. You can do snowmobiling. snowmobiling at the Continental Divide. And what we did yesterday, hot, hot springs. springs. <laughs> so let's show you around this park. This is the Buena Vista River Park. It's beautiful. On the way back, we found this really cool to view the different mountains on there. Way to go, Eagle Scouts of America 2022. This is amazing. I know, seriously. That is super clever. That is very useful, especially for people like us that don't know what mountains are what. <laughs> Agreed. Buena Vista Town Tour is Stedman's, as you can see back here. In 2006, Mark and Tracy Lewis owned this gas station, and they decided to turn this into a 1940s soda and sweet shop. They've got over 200 different types of soda, and a bunch of different candies, and I'm super excited to go check it out and see what they've got inside. And we're gonna go buy some goodies, because uh, right up my alley. Oh, so yeah. let's, let's go, go inside. Whoa, try that one. All right, we need one more. You just got the blackberry one? The blackberry one? Is that? Blackberry? Blackberry. It makes me so nervous because we go clink. Oh, I'm the I'm one who's going to eat all of them anyways. I'm not a huge sweet person. So, just so you know, if you plan to come in with the camera into the shop, you are not allowed to film here unless there's literally nobody in the store. So we got permission. But if there's people, you're not allowed to film in here. But we're getting a bunch of treats. And we're going to take our treats home now, get Tiny Dog, and go record a sunset. Let's go. Thank you. Thank Have you. a great e evening. You too. All right, let's do it to it. We are going to wrap this day up by watching the sunset. We know that there's so much more to explore in Buena Vista than just Main Street. Um, there are things that are other side streets that we didn't get to go and there's other little points of interest within a few minutes from town. So maybe this is giving you a bit of curiosity to come and explore by yourself. So if you do, let us know in the comments below. Of course, any other places that you recommend for people to come visit in Buena Vista. Yeah, we've already been looking at Airbnbs to come back to in the future. In the fall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So if you have a place, please leave us and let us know. Yep, and so that concludes today's vlog. Please hit that like. Please, 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 yeah. please, 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 please. Hit the like. It makes a huge difference. It's free to you. Helps us greatly. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Are we filming right now? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, Mother Nature, we need like 30 seconds. Mother Nature, please give us 30 seconds of calmness. This is typical Colorado. I know. 30 seconds, please. Of course, now the wind's being quiet. So right behind us is the Dill, the Dill, right behind us. So Buena Vista is, was named, or er, into, You said, do you want me to start off? Yeah. yeah. Go I ahead. Said, I said, do you want to start off? You said, sure. Oh, I thought you said, do you want me to start off? Oh, no, no, no. Go no. ahead.